Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a Caesar pasta salad. And this was meant to be a chicken Caesar pasta salad, but I totally forgot the chicken, so we're just going to scrap that. And all the ingredients you're going to need are croutons. You can use any kind you want. Um, bow tie pasta. Again, you can use any pasta you want. Caesar dressing. Um, lemon for garnish, but I think I'm going to squeeze some in my pasta salad. Tomatoes. Um, any onion. Just a little. We're just going to use a little bit. You can skip this too if you want. It's This is customizable, guys. Get with the program. Use whatever you want. Um, we're using Parmesan cheese and I'm gonna dice up some romaine lettuce and then I'm also going to be making a jalapeno popper bread or a cheesy jalapeno popper bread and I'm gonna use cream cheese, mayonnaise, jalapenos, um, blended cheese and I'm gonna also use an Italian loaf. You can use any bread you want. So yeah, I'm just going to chop up all this and we're going to make the pasta salad first and then we're going to make the bread last because I want it to be warm. So I'll come back to you when I have all of this chopped up. First thing I added was onion. I used about maybe a fourth of that onion. Not a lot. Next I added the tomatoes. Next I added about a handful of the shredded Parmesan cheese. Next, I added the romaine lettuce, and I only used um, maybe three-fourths of one huge bundle. So I have this left, and I just chopped it lengthwise this way, and then it just kind of peels apart, and you just throw it in the bowl. Last thing you need is the pasta. I used about half of the box, and I'm just going to add the Caesar dressing and I'm going to be all done. Wow, this was such an easy recipe. Let me know if you guys ever make my recipes. Okay, next we're going to make the bread. So what I'm going to do is I cut my French loaf in half and then I cut it lengthwise um, long way down so it's in two pieces as you can tell <laughs> pretty self-explanatory and now we're gonna make the spread that goes on top of it first thing you're gonna need is four ounces of cream cheese softened so I got a 7.5 ounce I'm gonna use half of it I had to get garlic and herb because they didn't have any plain cream cheese So that's what I'm working with. Okay, next you need um, one cup of cheese. I'm not good. Here, I'll measure. Just to be exact, but normally I don't care. I add more cheese because I'm a cheesy bitch. Okay, there's uh, one cup of cheese. Of course, I'm going to link the recipe down below. Sorry, I'm creating a big cast. I don't have a tripod, so I work with what I got. Okay. And then you need... Um, it says one jalapeno dice, but I don't like regular jalapenos that aren't pickled. I don't know. They're just too much for me. So I'm just going to throw some in and we're going to go with that. And I'm not even going to dice them. I'm just going to leave them whole. They'll break up when I mix them, hopefully. And I'm going to add a lot because I like jalapenos. And then one tablespoon of mayonnaise, and then you mix it together. I'm not going to measure that either. There we go. And now I'm going to mix that. Okay. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like mixed up and then you're just going to spread it on your bread and then preheat your oven to 400 and put it in until it is brown. So I would say about 10 to 15 minutes. And there you go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm eating bow tie pasta Caesar salad and I'm also having um, jalapeno cheesy um, bread, jalapeno cheesy bread, yeah. <laughs> I burned this just a little bit accidentally. I went to broil it and yeah, I left it in a little bit too long. So it is a little bit burnt, but it still looks really good. Yum. Okay, so I'm gonna dig in because I'm excited. Oh, um, the elephant in the room, I did cut my hair. I did it on a whim literally the day after I filmed. I'm like, okay, I hate having long hair, I'm gonna chop it off. And I was like, mom, can you cut my hair? And she's like, yes. So I did it literally within 24 hours of thinking that and I am so happy about it. I love it. I love having short hair. I feel like it's less maintenance. It'll be easier for me. Plus I'm trying to get rid of the dead ends so I cut them all off and I feel like a new woman. And I'm also drinking cherry limeade. Ooh. Yep. I want to try this first because it looks so freaking good. Yum. The burnt ends are not the best, but everything else is really good. I don't like burnt things, so. I like my pizza a little bit more than cooked. Like I don't want it doughy, but that's just how I like everything. I like it kind of undercooked, if that makes sense. I'm going to sprinkle some of this lemon on it. Because I love lemon. I've been using a lot of lemon and lime. So good. Both of these are super easy to make too. So good. By the way, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love on my last video. Thank you for sharing what you guys are going to school for as well. I love that there's so many people in college right now. It really motivates me and makes me know that I made the right decision.
Hopefully this isn't too bright. Here, let me try lowering it. Hopefully that's better. I'm still working with my lighting forever, trying to get my lighting perfect. Is anyone else, just they feel like they're, they have to be perfect in everything in life? And it's really weird. I feel like I'm always striving for this certain perfection that is unattainable. And this is anywhere in life. This is like just the way I look, maybe what I'm doing in life or my cooking, everything. I was saying this the other day, I was like, I can't wait until I'm older and I know exactly who I am and I'm unapologetically me. Because you know how when you get older you just stop caring about what people think about you or what you look like and you just start being who you're meant to be and I'm just so excited to get to that place. It's hard because I think we all get in our head, but I was watching this show on Netflix called Dating Around. I think it's called Dating Around. It's these people that go on these blind dates and they date a bunch of different people and in the end they choose one person to go on another date with. And there was this older guy and he was dating a bunch of older women and they their banter was the best out of all of the episodes because he was talking about how he lost his wife and that he just knows exactly what he wants and all these older women were like I want this this and this and they weren't afraid to say it and I just loved watching their dates um, they go to bed early, um, they say they don't like staying out late, they like staying in and watching movies, and they just know exactly what they want, and I loved that episode. A lot of people are afraid to be alone and older because it is harder finding someone but I find a lot of beauty in dating older too because you don't have to deal with uh, fuck boys because everyone is older or even fuck girls. Everyone's older, they're ready to settle down or maybe they don't even want to get married anymore. They're so, they're getting up there to where um, they don't want to get married again so they're just looking for a partner until they die and I think that's the best part I don't want to get married personally so I'm just looking for a partner to spend the rest of my life with I really like this pasta. You should make it. I don't really have a subject to talk about um, in this video, so I'm just going to be eating, okay? I hope you enjoy the random conversation.
think in my next video I'm going to do my top 10 favorite Netflix shows. Um, I know you guys said that, um, I had a couple of people say that they don't want me to do any spoilers so I won't. I'll just give you my top 10 and then you can give me your top 10 on my next video. This is like the perfect meal. What's one thing that you are finding difficult um, about this pandemic that's happening? Because I'm interested in what you guys, maybe it's like you can't find certain foods or maybe you lost your job or maybe it's just being inside all day. Let me know. And also let me know a positive. We'll do a negative and a positive. So one thing negative for me about this pandemic is that um, honestly there's not much to do. <laughs> you gotta stay inside. I've run out of shows to watch and I don't go out that often okay. But I do like going out every so often and just going to different places and I can't do that anymore. But one positive thing I feel like it's made me cook more. So I'm making so yesterday, oh my god guys, I made the best um, Philly cheesesteak quesadilla. If you guys want the recipe, I will make that in my next video. It was the best recipe I've ever made. I was like, I was like, wow, did I make this? So good. 10 out of 10. Like I'm gonna, it's a staple. I'm already, I already claimed it. But yeah, I've been getting way more creative. I made a creamy dill salmon recipe. That was really good too. But I'm throwing down in the kitchen. I'm basically um, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Minus like the clean cutting skills and everything. I feel like yeah, that's been really positive for me because I literally don't eat out at all anymore. I enjoy cooking so much. I tried to cut this like down and I did about two spaces each and I gave up. I was like, well, I'm not doing that anymore. Does anybody else have a dog that likes to chase um, birds? And squirrels because my dog every time I let him out in the backyard 
he'll dodge for we have this big tree in the backyard and my mom tries to cut it like the branches off to keep it um pretty because he'll go behind the tree sometimes but he there's a bird that has a nest in one of the trees and he dodges for the tree every time and he always looks up at the tree and he like runs to see if the bird is in the tree and i'm like you can't get the bird tucker And sometimes when I walk him, if he sees a squirrel, he'll try to run after the squirrel. I try to correct him on it, but he doesn't really listen. Um, my dog owns me. I don't own my dog. So anything I say, he's just like, um, excuse me? And I'm like, just kidding. Did you guys hear about um, Takashi 69 One of his neighbors saw him on the balcony taking pictures. So she's like, Takashi's on, um, he lives in my neighborhood and he's on his balcony and he had to move. What I want to know is how he has all this money to be buying these exotic cars. I don't get that. I don't, he was in prison for a while and he came out and he still had money. I thought the government seized his money. I'm surprised he got out. I would have thought he would have been locked up for way longer, but I guess when you're a celebrity, you get away with things. All I know is his music kind of sucks. I don't like it. So, I don't know how he gets all these views. Maybe because he's controversial. And then I was uh, reading about how uh, Doja Cat said if her song went to number one, she would show her boobs. So her song went to number one and she said, I'm not going to show my boobs. Which I actually think is kind of messed up, but... It's funny because all of these guys were like, I'm going to get it's number one. And then they did. And they actually believed that she would show her boobs. The power of selling sex. I'm telling you, sometimes I'm like, dang. I mean, these guys were like, okay... I mean, they're boobs. Let's be honest. Boobs are boobs are boobs. Some are bigger than others. Some are smaller. But guys, um, not saying all guys, but most guys drool over the thought of seeing her boobs, I'm sure. And they're like, we're going to do it. And then she didn't even do it. People always get mad at um, girls and guys in the adult industry 
but it's like if there's a market for it and people are buying it then it's always going to be around no matter what so you can't really get mad at like your boyfriend or your girlfriend for watching um porn because if nobody were watching it then people wouldn't make it but there's a market and you can't hate the player hate the game and i think a lot of people don't like it because they don't understand it but once you walk in someone else's shoes or you see what they deal with or what they go through then you have a lot more respect for them you know I think there's always going to be a stigma around your sexuality and how you use it but I love that people are becoming more and more open especially because of OnlyFans. I don't personally have an OnlyFans but I love girls that do. Yes, get your money. Like don't hate on people because they want to feed their family or they want a better life for themselves. Why would you hate on someone for wanting better for themselves? Yes, you wouldn't you don't have to do it in this way, but some people choose to and you can't hate them for that, you know? It helps some people get from point A to point B and if you need that, then go for it. It's not for everyone, but yeah, I support anyone that does whatever they want to do with their own body. I am full. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I don't know how long this video is going to be. But I really appreciate you guys so much for all the love. And I'm sorry this video was kind of boring. But I swear my next video will be way better. I'll have more to talk about. Jesus. <clears throat> Sometimes when I drink these, they make me super burpy anyway i'll see you guys in my next video let me know if you guys want me to make the philly cheesesteak quesadilla because i'm telling you my recipe bomb i wouldn't say it's well i would say it's mine i didn't follow the recipe i just kind of threw some stuff together i'll show you guys in the next video if you want <laughs> anyway um bye